What's up guys? Um, FPV Hawk here. I used to be a diehard Emax fan. This is the third time this has happened to me. Just a little frustrated. Yeah, I noticed a little silver thing hanging down the bottom of it and I was hearing this loud like pinging sound. I thought my props were loose. Wish that was what it was, but it wasn't. Bam! Yeah. Never crash. I'm going to give you a quick tutorial, dude, on how to do a low-income fix. Um, give you a quick scope, what the tools are going to be you're going to be using here, and then, um, yeah, I'll just show you what's up. So paper towels, toothpicks can come in handy. Um, you're going to need a pair of needle nose pliers, you're going to need a sharpie, uh, you're going to need a tool to lift the magnet if you need to actually re you know, readjust it. Crazy glue, your best friend, well, second best friend. Um, you need a tool to actually pull the bolt off the bottom of the Allen wrench key. Um, and then razors. Those come in handy for doing the cleanup job. Um, you're also going to need some pure baking soda that you're going to be mixing with the crazy glue. I'm going to take off the motor right now. And remember, too, you have a spacer here and a spacer inside the bell, so you got to be careful and make sure you don't lose those. So. And the reason why I see these, um, on the inside there, there's a little spacer there. And when you take these off, it, it's supposed to go in one direction only. It's not a flat spacer. I don't know if you notice that or not. I see how it's got that little groove where it's rounded right there. That actually faces towards the top end of the bell um, so we don't mix it up. Remember as well too guys, um, your bell coming from the manufacturer is balanced. Um, the reason why that there you see the glue going all the way around here, that was me balancing the bell. Um, if you're not balanced, it's going to create more excessive vibration and it becomes a nightmare trying to tune. All right, so baking soda. Okay, what you do is um, you put the magnet back in. Uh, the reason why I was talking about the sharpie huh, is so you can mark the magnet top and bottom. And just start from the edge here, because then it'll help you kind of like get it in the spot. Take some of your baking soda, take a pinch, just a pinch. On the top of it, like that, okay? And then you're gonna take your pinky or smaller finger, and then you just spread it to the left. You have to take in consideration balance, okay? Because when you put too much glue, um, it's gonna unbalance the motor, it's gonna create more vibration. Don't worry about getting too messy, but you want to try and keep it semi-wet clean, and then your paper towel. Very carefully, like I said, guys, I don't want to be the guy that gets sued because you guys stick your fingers to a motor, so um, take your time. All right, so that's that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this sit and dry for a little bit, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do the other side a little bit over here, um, but I'm only going to do the same count on this side here to try and counterbalance what we just did here. And for some reason, Emacs took it upon themselves to balance the top of that. I, I don't know why, but anyways, here's the part you need to take your time, like really take your time. That way you don't damage the actual physical magnets themselves and like take a chunk out of one on accident. So this one, um, I'm going to go ahead and clean this up and then show you a quick finish job after here. So there it is now, and here it is later. This is actually my second motor I've had to do this to, my first motor um, I've had to do two of them to it now so Emacs uh, quality control I'm going to give you an F and yeah you.com and it just clicks right in like that bada bing take your tool bada bing bada boom um, don't crank this down like you're trying to like like torque it you know what I mean? You, you just tighten it enough so it's nice and snug. Half twist. Done. Uh, this is a, a PV Aholic. Uh, Tatum. I'm out.